Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared four times to St. Juan Diego on Mount Tepeyoc north of Mexico City, from December 9 to 12, 1531. The Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe in the Catholic calendar is celebrated every December 12. Our Lady of Guadalupe is also affectionately called the Virgen Morena. Devotion originates from the apparition of the Virgin Mary to the native Juan Diego Cuauhtlatotzin, the Talking Eagle, on Mount Tepeyacu north of Mexico City from December 9 to the 12th of the year 1531. She addressed him four times in his Aztec Nahuatl language and asked that a church be built and consecrated in her honor. The Nican Mopowa source says that Our Lady said to Juan Diego, No, my youngest son, that I am always a virgin, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of the truest and only God, by whom all things exist, who is the Creator of life and people, the Master Heaven and Earth. I desperately want my little holy home to be built in this place, a church in which I will show mercy, help and protection to the people out of love in a visible way. For I am truly your merciful mother, yours, all those who continue this country together and all those who love, invoke, convert and trust me completely. Here I will listen to your cries and lamentations. You will be in my heart and I will take care to help you in all your many worries, sufferings and illnesses. He announced this to the first Mexican Franciscan bishop, Juan de Zimarraga, who was distrustful of the meeting. After returning home, on the same day and in the same place, Our Lady appeared to the seer for the second time, who ordered him to ask the bishop again the next day. The next day, Sunday, December 10, 1531, Juan Diego again conveyed Our Lady's wish to the bishop, who then sought some proof to convince himself of the authenticity of the apparition. On his way home, Juan Diego sees Our Lady again, who promises to give him the sign he is asking the bishop for. Due to his uncle's illness, on Monday, December 11, 1531, he remained at home. The next day, Tuesday, December 12, 1531, he hurried to look for a confessor for his dying uncle, and Our Lady appeared to him again. He assures him that his uncle will not die on that occasion and sends him to the original place of the apparition, where the sign that the bishop expects will be waiting for him. On a bare semi-desert hill, in the winter, he saw beautiful Castilian roses that were to serve the bishop and all the Spaniards as an obvious proof of the truth of the miracle. Juan Diego picks them up and puts them in his tilma or poncho, and goes to the bishop again. When he opened his tilma in front of the bishop, the image of Our Lady was seen on the cloak. After returning home, Juan Diego found Juan Bernardino's completely healthy uncle, who confirmed to him that Our Lady had appeared to him, that she had healed him and that her name, by which she would be honored in the image, was always the Virgin Mary of Guadalupe. After the apparition, millions of Mexicans became Catholics. The shrine is one of the most visited Catholic shrines in the world. Pope John Paul II he canonized St. Juan Diego in 2002 in the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Please like, comment and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you.